Pip the Puppet! Hello everyone, I am Pip the Puppet. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time watching my videos, hi, it's very nice to meet you. If you're already an old friend, thanks for coming back. As you may have noticed, today we are in my super duper lab. Ooh. This is where I like to try amazing science projects that we can have a lot of fun with. But you don't need to be a scientist or have a fancy lab like mine to try science experiments with me. All you need is a curious mind and a spot in your kitchen or living room where it's okay to make just a little bit of mess. So get ready because today we're making an awesome and very intriguing experiment with simple ingredients that you can find in your own home. You asked, and here you have it, the walking water experiment. Experiment! I do really like those titles. Okay, so grab a pencil and a piece of paper to take notes of what you'll need for today's walking water experiment. You will need three glasses of equal height, paper towels, water, and two different colours of food colouring. It's as simple as that. Hmm, I feel like something's missing from that list. Uh, do you guys know what it is? Hmm, oh yes! No experiment is complete without the helping hands. Hi helping hands! Helping hands is my best friend and we always do experiments together. It may not look like it, but helping hands is very clever. I think one day Helping Hands might become a scientist. But uh, enough of giving Helping Hands compliments, you've had enough for one day. Thank you, goodbye, shoo. Let's move on to our experiment. Oh wait, Helping Hands! Come back because what do we need for our walking water experiment? Ah, the paper towels. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is fold our paper towels. The easiest way of doing it is by folding it in half just like that. See how easy that was? And then in half again. Exactly as Helping Hands is doing right now. So you end up with two strips of paper towels, both about one to two inches wide. Helping Hands, could you remove the paper towels, please? We'll get back to those later, so Helping Hands is just going to put them to one side. And, ah, I see Helping Hands has our three glasses. As you can see, like this one here, they're empty for the time being. So we need three of those, one, and two, and three. So, all you have to do, as you can see, is place the three empty glasses about two to three inches apart, which Helping Hands has expertly done for us now. But, with our walking water experiments, well, there's not much you can do with empty glasses. Right, Helping Hands? So, what else do we need? Hmm, ah, of course, water. We can't make walking water without water. Silly Pip. So, let's pour some water into the glasses. Now, here's where you have to be careful and you can always get an adult to help you, just like I've got helping hands to help me. Add water into the two outside glasses, but leave the middle glass completely empty. Filling the glass about halfway is the perfect amount of water for our walking water experiment. And Helping Hands is just preparing the rest of the water for our second glass right now. Here we are. Hmm. So water, glasses, walking water. Ah, oh, you all know my favourite part in every experiment I do is of course food colouring. So let's add some food colouring to the water in each of our two glasses. Remember, primary colours work better like blue and red or yellow and red or blue and yellow. But which colours are we going to use, Helping Hands? Ah, red, amazing. Add a few drops and stir the food colouring until the water is all one colour. I do like this part, it's so pretty. You can see the red food colouring is dyeing the water red. So give that a little stir, Helping Hands. That was quick. Excellent. So, What's the second colour, Helping Hands? Mm, yellow, we've gone for yellow. That's great, let's do the same. Add the food colouring, just a few drops will do, and stir. Yellow and red, very pretty. Hmm. 
Ready to stir helping hands? Expertly done. Look at that. You couldn't get a better helping hands. I wouldn't want to. Hmm. Now. Water. Food colouring, glasses. I think we've got everything. But do you remember the paper towels we prepared at the beginning of the video? Well, let's bring them back. Thank you, helping hands. Now, helping hands, can you please take one of the strips and place just one end of the paper towel into the glass with the yellow water? Well done. Now, place the other end of the same paper towel into the glass that is empty. Exactly like that. Now, do we have our second strip of paper? Excellent. Place one end of it into the glass with the red water, like so. Then place the other end also into the glass that is empty. If it looks easy, that's because it was. How easy was that? And now, just like that, we're at the best part. Just watch, you're not gonna believe what happens. Wow, can you see it? The water is walking up the paper towel. It's walking water. It's already walked a little way up, but just watch what happens if you leave the glasses alone for an hour or two. Wow, look at that. The water walked to the empty glass, which now has its own orange water. It's magical. But, more than magic, it's science. I can explain. The water seems to be magically walking all by itself, defying gravity. But, it's actually moving because of a process called capillary action. The adhesive forces between the water and the paper towel are stronger than the cohesive forces inside the water. This means, as a result, the water travels up and across the paper towel, out of one glass and into another. But, but how come we ended up with orange water in the middle glass when we used red and yellow to start with? Ah, well of course, when you mix two primary colours together, they make a new secondary colour. Because we chose yellow and red, two primary colours for our experiment, when the coloured water mixed together in the middle glass, it turned into orange the secondary colour made by mixing yellow and red together. You can also try the experiment with the following colours. With blue and yellow, that makes green water. Or with red and blue, you'll get purple water. It's so cool! If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Pip the Puppet. Bye! Oh hey, I almost forgot. If you like awesome experiments, you're going to love this video on how to make a homemade lava lamp. Lava lamp. Lava lamp. It's so amazing. It's so cool. You have to see it and I'll meet you there. Bye.